I'm, uh, I'm fairly concerned at this point. Uh, the, the chess pieces are being arrayed to uh, stand up and, and potentially confront Iran uh, militarily. Uh, what the, the chance here is that... Uh, and Iran that would do what to uh, the price of oil? Oh, it'll spike it higher, at least temporarily. Mm -hmm. um, when we bombed Iran, Iraq, excuse me, back in the day, you know, we were, we were up only for a few days, but that's because the overwhelming force that you know, rolled into Iraq was so quick and lightning-like that the oil infrastructure was, was spared, really. What are the, basically, as I understand it, what Iran has said is effectively to the countries, the whole world, that, uh, that, that you better not pay attention to these American sanctions. You better go against them, or we're going to resume the building of our nuclear facilities in, I believe it's Iraq, A-R-A-K, I think yeah, that's yeah. what it's called, uh, and, and, um, and we're going to sell our oil, buy our oil or else. Yeah, and that's not working out for them. Uh, they're, getting, they're in the process of getting squeezed like I've never seen before. Right now, from the best that we can all tell, uh, they are having a huge problem selling oil, really, at all. I think their output and exports could drop below 500,000 barrels a day now. Many of their tankers have been stripped of their flags and their ability to sell oil. The black market's a murky place. I'm not saying that they won't be, you know, connivingly good enough to get some of it out, but not by a lot, Tyler. The secondary sanctions that loom out there that the United States can place Banking on every system, basically, right, right is, is, is scaring the daylights out of just about every legitimate purchaser or, or opportunistic purchaser of Iranian oil at this point. Could change, but for now, uh, this European system where they, you can try to evade these sanctions, not being picked up, even Chinese, the big Chinese companies, not looking to buy Iranian oil at a discount because of the secondary sanction fears. So let's play this out then. Let's say all of these other countries say we're with the U.S., we're not going to buy anything from Iran, our business is done. Iran continues its uh, nuclear capabilities program, building it up. What happens then in your view? I mean, do they actually have the wherewithal to do that at this point economically and raw material-wise? And should we be afraid of that in and of itself? I, well, I, I think they're, they're going to get desperate, is, is, the, is the issue I have. Now, will they try to block the Strait of Hormuz, something like that? No. They will first try to come out as via proxies in the region. That's why our stuff, our military assets are going over there now, be but able do, to respond to those. Do they think that force is going to somehow make us do less than we're doing now? How would, what are they expecting our reaction to be to something like that? I kind of liken it to if you ever took a lifeguard course where they tell you when you go in to save the drowning man, be careful, because they might take you down with them. That's sort of the aim here on the Iranian side, oh. to, to try to wreak havoc within the region, uh, wreak havoc, mm -hmm. and I'm not saying to close the strait, but to certainly attack potentially U.S. assets, other things to disrupt, to make it unsafe, to make it uh, maybe costly in terms of ensuring your vessels to be in the area, in the region. And yes, I think they are staring down the prospect, the real prospect, because of the way uh, John Bolton and some of the others in the administration are leaning forward here uh, for the potential for, for a real conflict. So again, they're going to get desperate enough. There's, uh, there's talk of other sanctions on some of their uh, metals uh, that they make a lot of their cash from. As much as oil, they do quite well in the, in the metals, minerals markets. That looks to be foreclosed next. Wow. So this GDP of theirs is about to crater. They're going to get desperate, and it's going to push the country into the arms of the hardliners in, in Iran who don't necessarily care that much about consequences you know, longer term. They, they are there to make a point.